At the moment, regardless of whether we are signed in or not signed in, we can access any of the routes that we've created. And that is a little bit of a problem. So let's just demonstrate this and we will sign out of our account and then we will head over to auth password change. Now, obviously, we don't have to change our password or we can't change our password because we're not signed in. We should not be able to access this route. And of course, when we do submit it, eventually things are going to go wrong. So we want to protect our routes against people being either signed in or if they're a guest. So by guest, I mean, if we are signed in, we don't want to be able to access things like the sign up area because obviously we're already signed in. Of course, we don't need to access the sign in area either. So we're going to create two pieces of middleware and we're going to group things here that we want to be accessible by people who are signed in or not signed in. So authenticated middleware and guest middleware. So let's start with our authenticated middleware, what we can access when we are signed in, like changing our password or signing out. So we're going to start by creating the middleware, then we'll create a group and then we'll attach the middleware to that group. So we'll start by just creating our file. So we'll call this auth middleware. And of course, to make things simple, we can just copy this over as we've done before. So we'll get rid of everything in here because we don't need this. And we'll go ahead and change the name of the middleware. So we start to think about what we need to do in here. Now, of course, we have our container on our base middleware so we can access our currently authenticated user or at least we can access the authentication class that we built. So here we want to check if the user is signed in or rather if they're not signed in. So not signed in. And if they're not, we want to flash a message and redirect them. Simple as that. So we'll start by checking. So we'll just use our container. So if not this container auth check, if they are not signed in, well, we want to flash a message so we can use our container to add a message. And of course, this will be an error. Could be info if you want it to be friendlier, but please sign in before doing that. And then we want to redirect them. So we could redirect them to the home or the sign in page. It makes sense to probably redirect them to the sign in page. So this uh, return response, remember we have our response inside of here with redirect. And of course, we can now say this container router path for auth.sign in. And that is it. So now all we need to do is create our group which is a, just a normal root group, and we add our middleware to that. So if the user is not signed in, we don't want to allow them to sign out. It doesn't make sense. We also don't want them to change their password. So let's create our root group here, and then we will place these inside of our root group. So a root group literally just looks like this. It's app group rather than app get. We have a URI here, so you could even group things under auth and then create uh, your roots under there. We'll see how that works uh, in a minute. And then we have a callback. Now I'm leaving the URI empty because all we're doing, all we're kind of creating this root, uh, root group for is to just protect against our unauthenticated users accessing this. So after this, we say add, and we're actually now adding this middleware only to this group of roots. So we say new auth middleware and we pass in our container. So we can just import this at the top. So we can say use app middleware auth middleware. And now we want to place these inside of here. We now have these routes that will have this middleware run on them. It won't, this middleware is only attached to these routes. Simple as that. So now that we've done this, we can take a look at what happens. So we are not signed in and we're seeing an error. And this is because we don't have app in scope here. Now, rather than do something like use app, what we can actually now do is use this. So we can just change these over like that and we're done. Let's refresh. There we go. 
So we're currently not signed in. So let's try and access our password change area. And you can see that we're redirected with that flash message and we have to sign in. So there's now no way an unauthenticated user can attempt to change their password. And this goes the same for if you add any other password protected areas or at least areas that you need to be authenticated for. So really useful to know. You can enter all your routes or create all of your routes within here if the user has to be signed in. So now that we've done that, we'll jump over to the next video and implement our guest middleware. But if you can, try and do this before you watch the next video just to see how you get on.